Hi, this tutorial is to learn about the graph concept. Uh, the first concept is direct graph. When we have the vertex and the edge, we call it graph. And when the edge is directional, we call it direct graph. In this example, you can go from 0 to 1, but you cannot go from 1 to 0. The next concept is undirect graph. When the edge is bidirectional, means you can go from 0 to 1, also you can go from 1 to 0. We call it undirect graph. Weighted graph, when we have the edge has the cost, where we call it weighted graph. In this example, if you go from LA to New York, it costs just $7. While if you start from LA and stop by here and here, it costs like $6. So if you want to save your money, you will choose this way. The next concept is vertex list. Um, in your Python code, you can easily declare vertex list. In this list, uh, you fill out with these vertexes. Uh, the next concept is the edge list. Edge list is the list of list. And as you can see here, we have the edge from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 since this is the undirect graph bidirectional. And we have 1 to 2 and 1 to 3, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 3 to 4, 4 to 3, 4 to 5, and 5 to 4. This is the edge list. The next concept is JSON's list. JSON list is also list of list. So index 0 has the item 1, index 1 has item 0, 2, 3. What it means is index 0 means the 0 node. The 0 vertex has the 1 edge to going to 1. And uh, index, two, index 1 here has item 0, 2, 3 because the index 1, this vertex, 1 vertex has 3 edges like going to 0, going to 2, going to 3. So this is the uh, JSON list. Uh, the last concept is JSON matrix. So if we have the LA, San Francisco, New Jersey, New York, four vertices here. So we have four vertices, first and the four vertices here. And uh, if we have edge between LA and San Francisco, uh, we mark it as 1. If there is no edge like New Jersey to LA, then we mark it as 0. So what's the plus and cons here? The advantage of JSON matrix, you can access one edge in order one time complexity. But the space complexity is bad because it's n square. If we have the four vertices, we need the 16 memories here. So it's order n square space complexity. And the the advantage of JSON's list is this is the order edge, order n. So this um, space complexity is just uh, order n. And we can traverse this JSON's list. So it's good when you implement um, the DFS, the depth first search. Um, you can talk about the DFS and the BFS in next video. Okay, thank you. See you on next video.